Hey, good morning. Welcome. We're back in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, and today, verses 13 to 15. Let's see what we can find out about covetousness. Then one from the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. But he said to him, Man, who made me a judge or an arbiter over you? And he said to them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. Now, tomorrow morning, we're going to carry on, and Jesus has another piece to this teaching. But for now, let's just think about this for a moment. Here's a person, he approaches Jesus, Jesus, the king of the universe, Jesus, who, who made the earth and, and made the, the Milky Way galaxy and, and all, all that there is. And he says, hey, I've got an issue over here over a few hundred bucks, you know. Would you come over here and do me some small claims courts between me and this? Uh, We've got to take your time for this. Jesus says, I, this, this isn't why I came. I didn't come here to be your your judicial person. Jesus didn't come to settle small claims court stuff. In fact, there's a warning here about coveting. Jesus warns, be careful that you're, you're too materialistic, you're too bound up in all this. We can have a lot more peace with each other if we will look out to things beyond the material. You know, you think of two little kids, you know, having a big fight over a cookie. The cookie will be gone soon enough. Let's not create friction between each other. And so Jesus warns them, be careful that you don't develop that covetousness in you. Your life does not consist in all those things you possess. The person who thinks he's got so much, but yeah, what happens when he suddenly gets sick and falls over dead? Friend, the spiritual things are the things we're designed for. We are designed for holiness. So let's be careful about putting too much emphasis, Jesus warns, coveting things that we do not possess. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, how easily in our world, which is so secular and so materialist, how easily we can become focused on a device, on an automobile, on a product, on sunglasses, crazy things, Lord. Help us to have a right balance with all these things, recognizing that in the end, these things aren't going to matter. These are means to an end at the present, and we can trust you to give us what is needed. Necessities, you'll provide wants, and sometimes our wants are pretty crooked to begin with. Help us, Lord, to have a proper sense of what we should have, and certainly to avoid, we pray, by, your, by the help of your Holy Spirit, avoid coveting. Now, Lord, this we ask you in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, the Lord bless you today as you covet only his righteousness.